Friday. Andrew? Yeah, that was quite an evening. We had uh, several reports of what we call land spout tornadoes and of course, a lot of tornado warnings to go along with those too. So that led us to this question we get to today. Perfect timing, by the way. What is the difference between a land spout and a tornado? So buckle in for a second. It's going to get a little confusing, but believe it or not, a land spout is a tornado. It just differs in how it forms. So with land spouts, these come from non supercell thunderstorms, which is exactly what we had on Friday. There wasn't a whole lot of spin or wind shear. Uh, here at the surface or even aloft that we typically need for those supercell storms to form. What we did have though was boundaries left over from previous activity and also a little bit of a front working through the area that gave us some spin here towards the ground level and allowed some of those land spouts to form. How is that different from a tornado? Well, with a tornado, you actually need a rotating updraft with a supercell thunderstorm that has much stronger winds with it. And of course, that's where you get your damaging tornado. So to review a land spout, yes, it is a tornado tornado, but it produces minimal damage. It's only on the ground briefly and usually has winds of 50 miles an hour or less versus a tornado, which of course is a much more life threatening situation on the ground much longer and can also have winds as high as 200 miles an hour. You can read more about this at WQAD.com just before GMQC at 11. Search for Ask Andrew. You'll see today's answer and the opportunity to submit the next question, which I will answer coming up on Wednesday.